hi children hope all of you are safe you know that we are just starting online classes here uh, today we are going to discussing about our chapter the fundamental unit of life so we are just continuing our portion uh, today we are going to discussing about cytoplasm and endoplasmic reticulum okay so before going to a topic you can take your notebook and you can write the notes here okay parts of a cell we can just revise the portion that we discussed in our classroom we know that for a cell there are mainly three parts first one is plasma membrane or cell membrane second one is nucleus and third one is cytoplasm okay so consider this as a cell the outermost layer outermost layer is known as plasma membrane or cell membrane and at the middle we can see a spherical structure it is known as nucleus it is a controlling center it control all the activities of this cell and in between the plasma membrane that means the outermost layer and the nucleus there will be a, a semi liquid substance or semi fluid substance it is known as cytoplasm so we can uh, study about cytoplasm in detail in this diagram you can see where is cytoplasm so i told you the outermost layer it is known as plasma membrane okay outermost layer is known as plasma membrane and the nucleus at the middle or at uh, center position we can see a spherical structure it is known as nucleus and in between nucleus and plasma membrane there will be a semi fluid structure or a viscous structure it is known as uh, cytoplasm see cytoplasm okay cytoplasm contains so many different different small small structures what is it actually it is known as cell organelles okay cell organelles you can see mitochondria here centrosome here lysosomes smooth endoplasmic reticulum vacuoles golgi vesicles golgi apparatus so many cell organelles can be seen in cytoplasm okay i told you the cytoplasm is a semi fluid substance so it shows some kind of small movements it's helping for that movement helping for the transportation of materials okay and it stores that means the cytoplasm stores many chemicals like uh, glucose uh, amino acids proteins etc now let's see what are the functions of cytoplasm and what is cytoplasm so cytoplasm it is a jelly like viscous colorless semi fluid substance that occurs between the plasma membrane and the nuclear membrane and it also contains many specialized cell organelles each of these cell organelles perform a specific function for the cell now let's see what are the functions of cytoplasm functions of cytoplasm means Uh, mainly it helps in the exchange of materials between the between the cell organelles that means exchange of materials i i told you that uh, it shows the uh, cytoplasm shows some kind of movements so it helps for the exchange of materials then it's storing vital chemicals such as amino acids glucose vitamins and ions etc then third uh, function is it is a site of certain metabolic reactions like glycolysis synthesis of fatty acids nucleotides etc so these chemicals like glucose uh, then fatty acids nucleotides proteins all these are synthesized in cytoplasm so these are the functions of cytoplasm the first cell organelle which we are going to study about is endoplasmic reticulum okay endoplasmic reticulum the first figure showing the structure of endoplasmic reticulum you can see it's a tubular structure flat tubular structure and some vesicles also can be seen and mainly see in this diagram this is the structure this is uh, endoplasmic reticulum okay so endoplasmic reticulum we can divide into two types one is smooth endoplasmic reticulum and rough endoplasmic reticulum okay so what is endoplasmic reticulum the endoplasmic reticulum is a large network of membrane bound tubes and sheets okay tubes and sheets it looks like long tubules or round or oblong bags that round structures uh, round endoplasmic reticulum is known as vesicles okay 
then endoplasmic reticulum is similar in structure to the plasma membrane so we know that what is the structure of plasma membrane plasma membrane it is made up of lipid and protein so endoplasmic reticulum uh, the structure is same or similar to the plasma membrane this uh, and the uh, membrane of endoplasmic reticulum is made up of lipids and proteins and there are two types of endoplasmic reticulum one is rough endoplasmic reticulum and another one is smooth endoplasmic reticulum two types rough endoplasmic reticulum or RER then smooth endoplasmic reticulum SER then we can see what is what is the difference between RER and SER so in this diagram types of uh, types that is RER and SER RER means rough endoplasmic reticulum so this uh, types that means RER and SER mainly based on the presence of ribosomes ribosomes they are granule like structures okay granule like structure and mainly the function of ribosomes are production of proteins okay ribosomes helping for proteins um, for production of proteins uh, so if rib if endoplasmic reticulum possesses this granule like ribosomes it have a rough a rough texture rough surface or rough outer texture it is known as rough endoplasmic reticulum so rough endoplasmic reticulum possesses ribosomes at the surface uh, at the surface of the tubes that endoplasmic reticulum is known as rough endoplasmic reticulum see in this tube tubes uh, in this tubes of uh, endoplasmic reticulum you can't see this ribosome or ribosomes are absent in the case of smooth endoplasmic reticulum that means their surface have a smooth texture okay so that is the main difference between rough endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum okay let's see the types of endoplasmic reticulum rough endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum in rough endoplasmic reticulum ribosomes are present and it is helping for protein synthesis and in smooth endoplasmic reticulum ribosomes are absent and it is helping for secreting lipids then functions of endoplasmic reticulum see endoplasmic reticulum it is a tubular structure so it giving support to the cell it giving internal support to the cell because of its structure then uh, it's a tubular structure so it is helping for transportation of materials between the uh, parts of the cytoplasm and also between the nucleus and cytoplasm uh, then RER RER uh, that means uh, the rough endoplasmic reticulum looks rough under a microscope because it has particles called ribosomes attached to it its surface the ribosomes are the site of protein synthesis so that is also the function of uh, endoplasmic reticulum then SER smooth endoplasmic reticulum it do not possess ribosomes and it helping for the production or manufacture of fat or lipids and this proteins and fats proteins and fats it is used for the uh, processing or it is used for the building of cell membrane because we know that cell membrane it is, it is made up of proteins and lipids so some of these some of these proteins and lipids help in the building uh, the cell membrane this process is known as membrane biogenesis so what is membrane biogenesis proteins and fats which are made by which are, which are produced by endoplasmic reticulum is used for producing cell membrane that uh, that process is known as membrane biogenesis then some other proteins and lipids functions and as enzymes and hormones okay all enzymes are actually all enzymes are proteins so some of these proteins which are produced by endoplasmic reticulum is, uh, is functioning as enzymes and hormones and uh, the last point the last function in the liver cells of the group of animals called vertebrates what is vertebrates the animals having vertebral column or backbone the animals having uh, backbone that kind of animals are known as vertebrates okay so in uh, some vertebrates SER SER means smooth endoplasmic reticulum plays a crucial role in detoxifying many poisons and drugs so these are the functions of endoplasmic reticulum